marvelous day, Math Amazers. I'm Sir Jess, your Math Amazing teacher. Today, we're going to learn how to represent functions in real-life situations. But before that, I have a question. Do you believe in forever? Hmm, sounds interesting, right? Let's read a dialogue between June and May who seemingly found forever in each other's love. I'll read the lines of June, and you'll be reading the lines of May. Is that okay? Good! Remember, read your part wholeheartedly. Being in a relationship with you for 40 years is surely a roller coaster ride. And I believe this is a perfect time to renew our marriage vows. Of course, I love you forever, to be faithful and loyal to you, until my last breath. What did you feel after reading the dialogue? Are you moved by the love story of June and May? What do you think is its implication to our lesson today? Well. That's what we're going to find out. Have you remembered these words? You have encountered them when you were in grade 8, remember? Now, get your notebook and pen and take down important notes during the discussion. A relation is in a set of ordered pairs. The best example of this is X and Y, where X, the first element, is called the domain of the relation, while y, the second element, is called the range. Did you remember it now? Great! How about the function? A function is a relation or rule of correspondence between two elements such that each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in range. I'll give you a tip to easily identify if the relation is a function or not. Just remember the word fun. First is unique. If the first element is unique, then it is a function. When we say unique, the first elements must not repeat. Did you get it? Very good. Let's try some examples. You will be given 10 seconds to answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Given the following ordered pairs, which relations are functions? Time's up! Let's check your answers. Will you tell me which are functions? Is it A, B, C, or D? Your answer is A and B, you are correct. How did you get it? Will you explain your answer? Very good! A and B are functions because each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in range, meaning the first elements do not repeat. Meanwhile, C and D are not functions because they contain ordered pairs with the same domain. In C, the number 0 repeats, while in D, letter A repeats. See, it's very easy to identify if the relation is a function. Just remember the word fun. First is unique. Just like in a relationship, if one cheats his or her partner, then the relationship will not function well. For it to function very well, both partners must be faithful and loyal to each other, meaning there is no other person in their relationship. If that happens, surely there is forever. I hope you learned a lot today. I'm Sir Jess saying math isn't hard. With the right mindset, consistent practice, and good study habit, you will be able to understand it. Until next time, math amazers, bye!